What's up, everybody? I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and this is College Football Total Chaos. It's week two. It's going down this Saturday, September the 10th, and I've got these two experts here from Picks and Parlays. I'm going to give them five football games that happen on Saturday. They're going to tell me if they're going over or under the total. Whoever gets the most correct comes back as the champion. With me today, I've got Tim Earl from Earl Sports Bets. You're 40, 43, and 3. Both of you had a rough week last week is what happened. Both of you I've, did. Yeah, it's um, been a rough two weeks. Oh, it has. So you're in a bounce back spot. Basically. Oh, yeah, totally. Perfect. And Mr. Sean Higgs himself, 68, 70, and 2. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. I'm on a nice little, uh, I'm on a good bounce back week or two. So I've been, I've been all right. Totals, you know, whatever. We'll get them on track. And this is the first football one, so I'm expecting to do well. Yes, very exciting. All right, so like I said, we're going to go over five games that happen on Saturday. They're going to tell me if they go over or under the total. Whoever gets the most correct wins. Before we get rolling, hit the like button, everybody. Give us the thumbs up. Subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We've got tons of free content coming your way every single day on the Picks and Parlays channel and the Winning Free Picks channel and the Earl Sports Bets channel and the Max Wagers Network. That's what we all are together. Um, also, we're sponsored by Caesar Sportsbook. So download that app onto your phone and use the promo code MORNINGFUL or just check out the description of this video and click on the link. The uh, promo code's already in there. It's going to get you up to $1,250 in a risk-free first bet, plus 2,000 additional bonus credits and rewards and tier points. That's where that's where the good stuff is at. That's your spa day, all right? That's your golf day. That's your comp room. That's what your tier credits are. Okay, so let's get it going on. Who had the better record, did we say? It was about even. They're both big to under. Tim could start it up. Okay, Tim, you start because you're on that side. <laughs> um, Central Arkansas is at number 22, Ole Miss. The number is 65 flat. We did see like 64 and a half, 65 and a half. We chopped it in the middle. What do you think? Over or under 65? Oh, boy. Uh, this one's gross. Uh, this one's about a 33, 34 and a half point spread. <laughs> Ole Miss is, should dominate this game. It's a matter of whether or not Central Arkansas can score. I don't see it. I'm going to go under the total here. Um, I could see I could easily see this one being a 45 to 10 game, something in that range. If Central Arkansas even gets up that high, um, this one's going to be a – it should be a pay to win for Mississippi State uh, – sorry, Ole Miss. Uh, they get they pay Central Arkansas. Come into our town. Let us whoop on you for a little bit. They could even shut them out. Pay to play. What do you think, Higgs? Yeah, Central Arkansas. No Scotty Pippen coming off the bench here. No. And they're rebuilding a whack, huh? They're in a whack conference on Central Arkansas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go under, and this is, listen, Kiffin's kind of been an under guy lately. Last week versus Troy, 28-10, Jackson Dart transfer. Looked like a transfer, you know, kind of getting into the flow of things. More the same here, right? They're going to kind of work through some stuff along the same lines. Maybe it's for a little more. Maybe it's 40 to 10, but, I mean, 65. We need, we get, we get 45, 50 out of Ole Miss? I, I don't think so. So give me the under. All right, all right. Moving on. I'm excited to see what happens in this game. We got number 10 USC at Stanford. 67 and a half goes to you, Higgs. What do you got? Yeah, I'm going under here, man. USC got three pick six touchdowns the other day. And this line, it, it opened at five. It shot up to like 10, bouncing in nine ish range. Uh, I, I don't know. I think it's going to be kind of a, I don't say it's offensive when it's going to be like 33 27, but I don't, 67 is a lot of points. And, yeah, I can't, I can't do it under. All right, Tim, your thoughts? Yeah, I think this line's a little bit too high as well. I'm going to go under. You you saw these two teams beat up on bad teams week one. Stanford got Colgate and USC got Rice. So not teams that you're going to go running to, to go and bet unless it's, I mean, college basketball you might put not college football <laughs> um this is th these are close, these are two teams close. this one should be a pretty competitive game because stanford pretty scrappy at home i could see this one being a last possession game so uh, i like the under in this one too all right all right we agree twice how about asu and number 11 oklahoma oklahoma has lost lincoln riley how shall they fare tim earl uh this one's oklahoma state Sugar nuts. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, hold on. O I remember uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma playing Kent State. State is ranked 11? Yeah. 
get it, Cowboys. Go on with your bad they, stuff. Hey, okay. they had a good team last year. They uh, they were they were a win against Oklahoma way to possibly making the football playoff. Oh, I love um, me some Cowboys football oh, I, and basketball because oh, I hate yeah. the Sooners. Screw the Sooners, but love the Cowboys. I'm going to go over in this game. I see a lot of offense. This line has moved from 54 to 57 and a half. So I guess that kind of tells you in itself. I think Arizona State puts up some points, but Oklahoma State, what we saw last week, they can score. They scored 50, uh, 58 points versus CMU. CMU is not supposed to be that good of a school. They're, they're a MAC tool. So, I mean, what are you going to, they're, they're a high scoring team. They scored 44 against them. Oklahoma State's got some real question marks on defense. I think Arizona State can put up some points on them, too, over the 57 and a half. All right, Higgs? I'm going to go over here as well. I'm going over as well. I mean, not much defense, Oklahoma State, 44 to CMU. And you know what? Actually, you know, I'm switching. I'm going under here. I think I did. Oh. You know what? I'm going to switch. I'm switching here. I, I think we did under – I you know, I'm trying to remember what we did on the other – Total. I did the free pick with you on this one, I think. So I want to try to keep it right. I'm, I'm going to go under, though. As much as I think Oki is going to put up their points against Central Michigan, it was a big – they were up like 40 to like 15 or so. They were up big, and then they get some kind of, kind of garbage stuff kind of late. So I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under this one. All right. All right. I, I like I'm, it. Not, I'm not so – I mean, Northern – they beat Northern Arizona. This is a huge step up in class on the road. All right. What do you think about Hawaii at Michigan? Forty. Uh, sorry, sixty-seven and a half. I don't even know where forty k. Oh, because they're number four. Okay. Number four. Um, you know, over. over. You know, this game's. I'm going to say over because I think Michigan's going to score like sixty-three. But the problem is, am I going to get like eight points out of Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii scored ten and seventeen versus Vandy Western Kentucky and a lot of what forty-seven and sixty or whatever. That, you know, what Michigan put up fifty-five sleepwalking last week. So, hi, hi! thank you, Boosters, for paying all of our players. We're going to reward you covering a 50 I, – I got this line of 47 and a half. It's like a 52. I'm going to – Michigan to the rafters. I, the only thing that worries me here is it could be a 55 nothing shutout. Right. I mean, it's one thing Hawaii travels bad when it goes to California to mainland. Now you're going to Michigan? Right? <laughs> this is going to be a drastically different climate for Hawaiians. Well, this, this, this could be 20 nothing in the first quarter. And then, then it, we might get to 45 by halftime and just hope that they score one more touchdown to cover the 52. Tim, I'm going over anyway. I, I think I'm saying 63 to 8. That's my prediction. 63 to 8. All right, Tim, what do you think about it? I'm going under. Um, I, I, I think Hawaii gets shut out. Um, I don't think they put up any points. And the fact that I don't think Michigan's going to want to just try to go out and put 70 points up on the board. I, I don't think they need to. Uh, sure, they're 50. They'll, they'll probably cover the spread. It'll probably be, what, 54 to nothing? I, I just think that 67 and a half, you're, at that number, you're expecting Hawaii to put up points, and I don't expect Hawaii to put up points. That's fair. Who does Michigan have next week? UConn. I, was I looked that UConn. up to UConn, so it's not a look at spot, but. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like, are they going to pull their starters and like, they still well, could. I mean, they probably still will, but yeah. yeah, it's not like because they're trying to rest them real hardcore for the next game. It's not like they're really going to work that hard today. So, or Saturday. Um, okay. So last one is, this is probably the game I'm most excited about. Really. We got number nine Baylor. We got number 21 BYU 53 and a half BYU won the pack 12 last year. Baylor is one of my jam schools. They're a Texas school. I love them. I root for them. And I'm going to Baylor, Oklahoma, September the 1st, I think it is, or October the 1st. All right. right Tim, September 1st, I missed it. Huh? Uh, I, I, like I know, October. You know how I am with dates. <laughs> They're just yeah. other numbers. <laughs> yeah, numbers. I like the under. Uh, I right. think this is going to be a defensive matchup. Um I, I I lean towards BYU as well in this game. I think that's going to be your slaughter game of the week because you see mm -hmm. kind of similar to that Utah game last week. You saw Utah at plus point, or they were opened up at plus points or slight favorites against. A, I mean, BYU is ranked, but they're they're twenty first. It's barely ranked. Uh, I could see this one being BYU by seven, but I see this one being a lower scoring game. Twenty. Okay, to what do you think, kids? Twenty seven twenty. Yeah, I'm on the under two. You got defensive teams here. Last year it was a the Baylor Bear runner up Big Twelve champions. Or, no, they, they were they had a Big Twelve champs last year, right, Baylor? Yes. So, yeah, I think they were so. Big Twelve champs last year. Yep. You know, Oklahoma yeah, State. Like uh seventeen seven at the half, thirty one fourteen after three totally had their way. But you know what? This is a new team. 
both I like both in the trenches. I like the you know inside kind of play there, which I think is going to tend to a lower grinding kind of scoring game as opposed to a high scoring affair. BYU looked good. I didn't like him really last week, but man, double digits on the road. But I what was like thirty nothing in South Florida. Right? Yeah. yeah, put him away, and then they're like, you know what, we're ready for next week. So mm-hmm. um, here's a spot where I think it's going to be a battle. BYU has to win all their games, right? Yeah. Uh, next week at Oregon. It's not like they, they, they have lookheads every week when you're when you schedule tough. So I don't think it's a problem here. They're going to bring defense. They're going to do what they can on offense. 53 and a half. Let's go under the total on the Tim. Let's go under. All right. So we're going to do a recap of all these games. But first, I want to remind everyone to like and subscribe. Ring that bell if you haven't done it already. Very important if you want all the free content to keep coming your way, people. And don't forget about the promo from Caesars. Up to $1,250 in a risk-free first bet. Check out the description of this video. Click on the link. It's already got the promo code MORNINGFUL in there for you. Otherwise, just download the app onto your phone and use the promo code. It's just that easy. I keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Tim Earl, what are you up to? Tell the people who you are and what you're doing. I'm Tim Earl. Uh, no. <laughs> um, no, hey, uh, football corn. season. Yeah, football season is, is right here. I, we, Me and Nick, we locked in a couple more plays on the site today. We got 15 up for this week. I love this week's card. And then we already have like eight, almost uh, eight plays for NFL already for Sunday. Lots of stuff coming, and we're only going to put more up. So lots and lots of volume. Awesome. And Sean Higgs, what are you up to, friend? I'm down. I'm actually down to 276. So I lost like two bats. So I'm happy about that. It doesn't help eating wings all the time, but I don't mind. I don't care. I'll eat my wings. Don't eat them <laughs> two handed. Yeah. So uh, baseball still chugging along, doing all right. Baseball having a nice run the last couple weeks, rebounding a little bit after a struggle. Although it's going to happen when you take underdogs and yeah. everybody's a, you know, the fans are kind of rolling in. But uh, big football weekend lined up. Hit the Rams. Uh, I keep saying Rams. I had Buffalo money line last night. Under and midday money. And then this week I got 23, 24 college games up. I got three packages, a five-pack of totals, two, three packs of games. NFL, another dozen games, a couple triple plays up there, you know, three packs. Go. But, like, Tim, me and him, a lot of games, me and Earl Sports. Yeah, five, lots of volume. Eight, weekly or monthly two for one. I, I was saying in the, my, the midday show, I'm like, why wouldn't you get – it's 25% off on your football packages, and then you get a – 20% off promo codes, 45% off comes out to less than $30 a week. 30 bucks a week, folks. You you waste that on nonsense. Probably probably okay. every day. Probably every day you waste it on nonsense. But then you go get a, I don't know if people buy newspapers anymore. I do. I like a paper. I put it out. Cut out the lines. I'm old school. But, I mean, like, you go in here, you get your coffee or muffin, whatever the hell you have. It. I don't know. But, um, so, over at the site, our early bird special is going to end on Monday. So anyone out there who buys premium plays, you can get any of our cappers. They're all NFL pass for $6.49 or they're all football pass for $7.99. That's for the entire season. Every single football game that your capper plays, this is how much you get it for. And then use that promo code NFL, and it's going to save you 20% off whatever you buy, including those packages. Now, if you just wanted to buy a week-long pass from both of them, from each of them, either of them, or both of them, you're going to get a ton of plays, and you can still use the promo code NFL. Whatever's in your cart at checkout is going to get the 20% off. So you guys really want to check this out. And both of you are in Circa. Are you going to be doing Circa packs? Like these I are already my have my Circa pack picks. up. We kind of talk about the games, but I already have my Circa pack up. Yep. Yeah, I don't call this. I don't call the circle pack because if I have a game at one o'clock or four o'clock or Sunday or Monday or if I, not that we use a Thursday game, rarely I, if ever. But I forgot the password to your circa account, so it's good that I'm going down there today so I can ask them about that. I was like making sure I could log in, and I'm like, oh no, oh this is not good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that'd be bad news. You can't get that in tomorrow. It'll be right out of the gate. I'd be uh. I can't even get the booby prize. I couldn't even get the booby prize going right. over with the donut <laughs> out of the game. No, I'm going down there tonight to meet the insider's room. So I will get it all squared away before you get your circuit picks in. Don't you worry. Um, okay, guys, so let's do that recap. We're talking Central Arkansas, Old Miss. They're both going under the 65. USC and Stanford, they're both going under the 67 and a half. ASU and OSU, they're, Tim is going to go over. Higgs is taking it under the 57 and a half. Hawaii and Michigan. Higgs goes over. Tim goes under, but we do agree. Baylor BYU is going to go under the 53 and a hook. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show. Good luck this weekend. NFL week one. Let's go.
Yeah. NCAAF week two. Let's go. All right. Bye, guys. Like I always say, may the best capper win.